If you're thinking about getting RPG Maker, it might be a little confusing deciding which one to use. So I'm going to be going over the differences between most of the RPG Makers. Starting off, we're going to be looking at RPG Maker 2003. Now, I would say 2000, but 2003 is almost the exact same thing as far as I know, except for the battle system. I know the battle system um, for RPG Maker 2000 is the uh, front-facing one where you don't really see your character sprites or have any character animations or anything like that. Whereas RPG Maker 2003 is essentially the exact same thing, except you have the side view, uh, I guess you could say Final Fantasy style battle system. Now, RPG Maker 2003 is unique in its own way because of its eventing system and how powerful the show picture command is versus all the other um, RPG Makers. With RPG Maker 2003, you can layer pictures so that they appear lower uh, than the tile set. You can also give them some sorts of effects, such as the waving effect, as you see. Um, however, its limitations are the graphics have to be 16-bit. Uh, they cannot be 32-bit. Um, they can support alpha channel, but not, uh, not semi-transparency. It's either you have a transparent pixel or you don't. Um, best way to, I guess, convert art, as far as I've uh, seen, is to use paint.net, uh, because there's a nice little easy uh, selection when you export to make it 16-bit. RPG Maker 2003 is also limited to, uh, I believe, a 320x240 internal resolution, so you're not going to be able to do any widescreen games as far as I know, unless you maybe like find a hack or something. But don't let that run you down, because there are plenty of amazing games made in RPG Maker 2003, and if you choose RPG Maker 2003, you won't be disappointed. Moving on to RPG Maker XP, they've switched things up quite a bit. They've introduced a new layering system, which allows you to place any tile on the tile set between the three layers. They've also introduced what's called Ruby Game Scripting System, or RGSS, which basically allows you to use Ruby to customize the game the way you like it. The eventing system has died down quite a bit, but it's not bad. RPG Maker 2003 basically needs uh, a good uh, eventing system because of its limitations. RPG Maker XP, though, if you know what you're doing, you can squeeze out a lot more than what RPG Maker uh, 2003 has to offer. However, it might be a little bit difficult to uh, get the grasp of how scripting works, but if you can manage to get a hang of it, uh, you won't be disappointed whatsoever at all. RPG Maker XP also has, in my opinion, the best starter set, like um, by starter set I mean RTP, which stands for Runtime Package, which is the default graphics and audio. Um, I don't know if it's because of nostalgia, but it's easily my favorite. If you're looking to create a Pokemon game, RPG Maker XP is definitely the RPG Maker to go because somebody developed what's called Pokemon Essentials, which basically has uh, everything you need to get started on creating your very own uh, Pokemon game. I believe RPG Maker XP is also limited to 640x480 resolution, or 800x600, I can't remember. Moving on to RPG Maker VX Ace, they took a different turn again with the layering system, this time introducing tiles B, C, D, and E rather than having three layers. Although, to be honest, I kind of wish they would have kept the three layer system because that to me was the better one, but this still gets a job done. Now, they've also upgraded the Ruby game scripting system, and I skipped VX because VX Ace is essentially the same thing as VX, except better. VX Ace comes with a pretty bootleg like uh, character creation system, which I guess could be helpful if you either don't know or don't feel like making graphics. Um, but it's pretty cool, I guess, because it allows you to kind of use parts to create a, a sprite and a face set. Or just a single face, but I digress. RPG Maker VX Ace also offers some sample maps in case you're too lazy or don't feel like making a map of your own, or if you don't know how. Moving on to, in my opinion, the best RPG Maker of the series so far, RPG Maker MV. RPG Maker MV takes a complete turn as for how the scripting works. It uses JavaScript to allow you to customize the game in such a way that would never have been possible in the previous versions of RPG Maker. RPG Maker MV uses Pixie.js, which essentially chooses whether or not um, to use WebGL or Canvas, depending on what device you're making a game for. RPG Maker MV allows you to make mobile games if you're into that kind of thing, and it's cross-platform. It works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. The resolution is essentially limitless, um, as you can expand it even to 1080p if you're into that kind of thing, even though that'd be pretty difficult to make a game 
uh, fit well with that kind of resolution, but the option's there if you want it. RPG Maker MV allows you to call plugin commands using an event if whatever plugin you have has any plugin commands, which that should be in the help file of the plugin. RPG Maker MV is by far the most powerful RPG Maker engine to date. Its character creation system is also a lot better, as it allows you to create any abomination your mind can set forth. Other than that, the eventing is pretty much the same, um, although they did do something a little bit different with the mapping. They have introduced a sort of, I guess, hidden third layer, and what I mean by that is you can place two of the tiles from layers B, C, D, and E all in the same spot. But if you try to place a third one, it's just going to overlap whatever first tile that you put there. So that makes it a lot easier to place trees and whatnot. And like before, it also comes with sample maps, but you can explore those on your own if you wish. If I was going to recommend any RPG Maker to somebody, it would probably be MV. Even though, out of nostalgia, um, XP would definitely be my favorite, because I've had the most fun with that um, back when I was in high school, but MV is definitely the choice, um, definitely my choice of any RPG Maker out there. So I hope this video helped you uh, decide which RPG Maker to get, and yeah, happy RPG making, everybody! Bye!